Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bruno from the BTN HD, and today we're going to go over how to create Hyper-V templates within your Hyper-V infrastructure. So I'm going to show you guys how to do it on the Windows 7, but you could do this with any operating system. So I have a master virtual machine right here, and this master virtual machine is going to be my Windows 7 template. So what we need to do is uh, I'm going to shut down this machine. Let's shut it down. And once that's shutting down, I'm going to go inside my C drive and I created a folder called master. Now this folder right here is where I'm going to drop all my templates into. Uh, I don't recommend placing all your templates within the C drive. If so, I would say place it in a network share or a separate partition. So let's close this window up. Once your virtual machine is completely shut down, what we want to do is create a checkpoint. Now this checkpoint is a snapshot of your master image with everything that you need inside of it, like all your Windows updates, applications that you installed, and whatever, okay? It's a clean, stable virtual machine. And what we're going to do is once your checkpoint is done, uh, we are going to right-click, connect, and we're going to power it on. Okay, so once your virtual machine is up and running and you finish taking the snapshot or checkpoint, we want to go inside your start menu. Uh, let's go to computer, let's go to your C drive, Windows, System32, and within System32 there is a folder called System Prep or SIF Prep, double click on that, and we want to double click on this, okay, the System Prep application. Uh, by default it's going to enter into the out of box experience, make sure you check off generalize and we want to shut down and click OK. So right now it's processing it, it's cleaning up all the stuff that it needs to do. Once the virtual machine is shut down, I'm going to show you guys the next step. OK, so once the virtual machine is completely shut down due to the system preparation, we're almost there. So let's close this window up. And the next thing that we need to do is find that master template virtual machine. We're going to right click on it and we want to export. Now I'm going to export it inside that folder that I created and it's called master. So let's browse go to C and master and we're going to select that folder and we're going to click on export. So right now the status is exporting and I'm going to wait until it's completed into a 100% and then we're going to continue. All right, so our export is completed. So we're going to go inside that folder that we created together. And for me, I called it master and this is the export right here. We're going to go inside virtual hard disk and there it goes. That's how I got right there. Awesome. And so the next thing we need to do is let's create a virtual machine using our master template. So what we need to do is I'm going to close this up. Uh, let's click on new virtual machine and let's go to next. And the virtual machine name is going to be BJ dash test, right? And click next, uh, click next on that. I'm going to give it 512, click next. I'm going to give it a Nick. Click on next and right here we're going to say attach a virtual hard disk later. Click next and finish. Okay, so what we need to do is right click on our new virtual machine and we're going to go into uh, settings and we're going to leave this open right here because we need to do something. So what we need to do is locate that folder where our BJ dash test uh, virtual machine where we dropped it into. So I actually dropped it inside the C drive users public public documents, Hyper-V, uh, virtual hard disk, virtual hard disk. So I am going to right click in here and I am going to create a new folder. And this folder is going to be called BJ dash test. Okay. Awesome. Good. So from, I'm going to open up another windows Explorer and we need to locate our template. So let's go to C drive master. And this is our template right here. Let's go to, to uh, virtual hard disk. And I am going to make a copy of this. So we are going to make a copy. And I'm going to drop it inside BJ dash test. Okay, so once you copy over or you made a duplicate copy of your master uh, Hyper V image, what we want to do is rename it. You got to rename it the same name as you created your new virtual machine. My virtual machine, the one that we created together, was called BJ dash test. So I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to rename it and rename it the same way that you rename it on your uh, Hyper-V manager. Awesome. So we're going to close that window up and we're going to close this window up. Now back to the settings. 
with the new virtual machine that we created. So within your settings, we want to get into the IDE control of zero. Uh, make sure hard drive is selected. Click on add. From here, we are going to browse and we're going to browse to that folder where we dropped our master template. We made a copy of it and we changed the name of it. So we're going to click here and this is it right here. We're going to click on open. We're going to click apply. Awesome. I'm going to go into the BIOS and within the BIOS, I'm going to move up the IDE because the IDE is basically our hard drive. I want that to boot up first, not the CD. Click apply. Okay. I'm going to right click on our virtual machine, connect, and let's power it on and see what happens. Awesome. So it looks like it's starting on the Windows operating system. This is awesome, which is pretty cool. And that's it, guys, on creating a Hyper-V uh, template. I'm already inside my desktop. I didn't have to wait for the installation to push out and copy all the files and install and do all that stuff. It's just real simple to do it this way. Hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Leave comments right below. Don't forget about hitting that like button. And don't forget to subscribe as well to get the latest and greatest tips, tricks, and geeky related topics. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.